Hi everybody, this is Irene from the Field Guide, and I thought I'd show you something that's pretty awesome. This is the Moodna Viaduct in Salisbury Mills, New York. It was built by the Erie Railroad to haul freight on the old Graham Line. It was open for business in January 1909. It's 3,200 feet long. And at its highest point, I believe it is 193 feet. Its highest point will be right down here. This is where the Moodna Creek comes through. You can see it just down there. I see the camera's trying to focus. I, think, I hope you can see that and it's getting a little bit dark. Uh, this is also good hunting ground. You have to get a permit to hunt here, but you can hunt all along these borders down in here and on the other side of the trestle also. I was kind of hoping when I filmed this that a train would be coming across. This is New Jersey Transit. It's a commuter rail line, and it also shares the tracks with the freight, which is uh, usually Norfolk Southern. Um, look at that, isn't that something? When they built this, I have a picture of it somewhere, probably in my Facebook photos, they had a rolling cantilever system and it was steam powered. And as each, like, say, cut, cut the rest of this out right here, like from right here, it would be a, a steam powered rolling cantilever that would put the tracks and the platform into place and then they would build up from the bottom. You need a nerves of steel to run that baby. <laughs> I don't think that's for me. And here's another interesting thing. We're looking over here at Scunny Monk Mountain. Scunny Monk Mountain is our tallest mountain in the area. Uh, it is 1,700 feet at its highest point, 1,700 and change. It runs north to south, south to north, and it's the only one in the area that does that. It has monoliths, it has crystals galore, and of course up there, if you saw about, I don't know, maybe 10 videos ago in the summertime, I walked into a rattlesnake den that was quite impressive. And also on this side, right over this rise right here, uh, back in the day, there was a, an Indian chief who had uh, his people build a stone castle for him. And there are remnants of it. I've never gone to look for it. I trust the old timers. Uh, advice about that and it's been written about too if you uh, if you look that up it should pop up for Scunny Monk Mountain right over in here I'm not sure if you can see it my finger might make the camera get a little funky but there is a pine tree right here and there's one right next to it and then a little closer to us there's two more right in the middle of that was Averill Harriman's personal high ski jump and it was a big popular attraction back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. The Olympiads came here at the jump too. And they walked up a trail. You can see it if there's a little bit of snow. You can see a white line going right up, right over to the top of the ski slope. And I know some people who were in their 90s who used to come here to watch that. They said it was a great time, great time. And the place was packed. And I mean, when you look around, it just looks like farmland and some beautiful scenery. But at one time, it was a going concern, no doubt about it. And when they came down off the ski jump, they landed in this field right here. Oh, one other thing I want to tell you about the Erie Railroad. The old Newburgh branches, is net, which is now abandoned, you can see those cars out there. That's on Oars Mills Road. Just on the other side of that is the Erie Newburgh branch, which was, which was the shortcut from Washingtonville to Newburgh. And now it's just an empty roadbed. Some people have built some houses on it, and some people use it just to walk. But it was, uh, that was another very busy railroad. But uh, yeah, so no trains today, but uh, I don't know the schedule. But they, um, they come through here pretty regularly, and it's quite a sight. Uh, they usually approach it at about 35 miles an hour, and I believe they have to slow down to 20 or 15 miles an hour. Where you see these trees right here, there used to be a farmhouse. 
And of course, uh, as time went by, that house was there back in the 70s. And the people who lived in it actually came from the Posit, New York, and they left. And then the house was torn down. This property uh, kind of bounced around. It was uh, part of uh, uh, Scenic Hudson, open space. And then it became state park land, which is the reason for the permit hunting now, which is a good thing. That seems to be the the um, the the path most open land takes in this area. It usually starts with either open space, Cena Hudson, and then it sits with them for a while, and then the state usually takes over, which is fine because it will be forever wild. We hope. We hope. Keep our fingers crossed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and a spectacular sunset to boot. Thanks for joining me, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.